Yo, what is good, my fellow gamers? Just before we start today's video, a quick word from our sponsor, and that would be Moonlight Sculpture. The game is developed by XL Games, who are the developers behind an MMORPG game called Arc Age. The game has a very immersive story for you to follow along, based on the famous light novel, The Legendary Moonlight Sculpture. Weekly tournaments you can participate in and claim epic rewards as you get crowned and become a champion. Dive into the center of action in the ever-changing dungeons to earn tons of EXP and rare treasures filled with exciting bosses are waiting to battle you. If you don't want to battle, you can also spend time decorating your house, cooking, and crafting your very own weapons and armor as you relax in your home space. Collect a bunch of fragments to craft sculptures and become the world's greatest artisan by creating a masterpiece. There is so much for you to do with endless content for you to explore, and let me also mention that if you pre-register, you can unlock an exclusive skin for your character and other benefits to help you start on your journey. The, this ends on May the 24th, so register down below using the link provided in the description or the pinned comment section to sign up right now. Don't miss out on the fun, boys and girls, so I'll hopefully see you in the battlefield perfectly prepared for an adventure. Also, if you guys are interested, you can join the Moonlight Sculpture community on Discord and Twitter, which the links will be provided in the description below. <laughs> Can you all actually believe it that we are already halfway through the year of 2021? It's crazy how time really flies by, which is why I'll be showing you guys personally the best new anime of 2021 in my opinion. All the series on this list will be from this year, and I'm not gonna lie, as 2021 has been so far kicking ass with all these great shows coming out and still more yet to come very soon in the upcoming seasons, which by the way, I'll be making a video about, which you should definitely all keep an eye out for that video. If you do enjoy today's video, then please do consider subscribing for more content like this. And without keeping you all waiting, let us get started with the video, baby. <laughs> The Quintuplet Season 2 aired last anime season, and to be honest, it was the most impressive sequel and arguably better than the first season. The new changes made were actually really pleasant in terms of the art style, but nerfing the girl's thickness was the bad part. Though I have to admit, The Quintuplets is actually one of the best harem romance series we have received in quite a while, and let's not forget that there will be a third season also for the series coming really soon, but for now, we're just gonna have to wait for the date to be announced. ほう。the descendant of Kazuma from Konosuba comes in as agencies from Combatants will be dispatched. From the creator of Konosuba, the comedy is just pure gold in the show as Agent 6 and Kazuma really both share so much in similarity. The best thing in the show is the crazy things Agent 6 gets himself into, but he is a pretty overpowered protagonist because his power is pretty cool but also comes with a downside. Wait, you guys want to know what his powers are? <laughs> well too bad, you gotta watch the anime to find out. あしたは死ぬなよ。我々は誇り高き<笑> Ask yourself the following question, what would you become when you get reincarnated to another world? That is something you can't really answer, but this right here is the best isekai we had in such a long time. Mushoko Tensei has amazing characters in the series, and also world building that I just can't get enough of. I love how the main character has a different characteristic through being a perverted young kid who praises Roxy's holy relic all the time. I'm also really happy that the second season to Jobless Reincarnation is coming next season, which is not too far away. I'm telling you all right now, Summer 2021 is looking really strong. <笑>魔術というのは風や土を操ったのが武器だと言われていますその魔術を真似し携帯化させていったものです魔術にも歴史があるんですね当然です子供を装っててもダメか世の中成熟さんそうよく話さなかったなはい<笑> 
ありがとうございました頑張れよ新米メガネくんまたねー Is it weird to say that I actually enjoy this version of Cells at Work than the original? Cells at Work Code Black is more action packed than the original and overall a more serious one. If you always wonder to yourself what the human body would look like from the inside, well, this series pretty much sums it up for you in a very fun way and a very unique way. It's by David Production, whom are really good at both animation work and art style, and I actually really enjoyed what they did with this version of Cells at Work. Pretty much, it's the complete opposite of the original series, which means you have a male. Red blood cells and a female white blood cells. And instead of the body being healthy and people happy, it's more of a disaster and and the verge of a breakdown. How would you feel if you had an underclassman continuously teasing you until she gets what she wants? Don't toy with me, Miss Nagatoro has shown itself to be a lot more of a likable series than Uzaki chan, as I find her to be less annoying and more entertaining for sure. Nagatoro likes to tease her senpai who is in the art club by calling him names and just hanging out with him and do her usual things. Of course, that's not to say she doesn't have feelings for him, because she does, but doesn't really show it to him. Nagatoro was quite the teasing machine during the first episode, but ever since then, it has definitely calmed down a lot, which I found to be a very pleasing experience, and that's why she is not as annoying as Uzaki-chan. <laughs> Being the only human in a demon school to where the monsters would eat you if they find out that you were a human is pretty scary of a thought, right? <laughs> Welcome to the demon school, Iruma-kun. One of the most wholesome series I've ever watched is back this season as the adventure of Iruma continues and gradually progresses and a very good level. The only downside is that we still haven't seen Iruma's second personality which was hinted during the final episode of the first season, which I'm still waiting for to see. <laughs> Though, in general, this is this has been a great watch so far and I can't wait for more. エリさん、元にイルマ。さあ。あ、あまりじろじろ見ないでください。この服やっぱり恥ずかしい。あれ。どう程度じゃ、ここのコントロールはまさかペス。エリザベス。Imagine something beautiful being made of a studio you never would have thought of. That is right, Wit Studio, the creators of Attack on Titan, have decided to tackle a anime original series called Vivi Floride's Eye Song, which has had a huge success and is slowly becoming popular and has no been known to others. Studio Wit really have a lot of talented people, and what I'm most impressed by is the amount of sheer detail during the close-ups of the characters' faces and the eyes. So much detail and care put into this make it look clean which I'm really pleased to see. サンライズを渡す。今から the power of friendship is back once again with Hiromashima's newest series, Eden Zero. Known for his work for Fairy Tale, he decided to, to take the character's looks from the series we all love and place it into Eden Zero. As you can see, the amount of reference in the series to Fairy Tale is pretty big. I myself am a huge fan of his work since I finished Fairy Tale. I'm just so happy to be watching another project of his come out, and Eden Zero so far has been one of my most anticipated series of this season. <laughs>
There is no exception for Attack on Titan to be excluded from this list, as I had to bring it in here. One of the biggest series to come out this year, even though it had a studio change and was given to Studio Mappa to anime, I was quite happy with what I watched. Even though many complained about the CGI work, which I didn't have a problem with, personally, and many people were arguing on a few changes while comparing scenes of the anime to the manga, I still liked what I watched to be honest. Of course, the series is not over yet, as we still have the second core of the final season yet to come very soon. せしきたねし、ブサイクじゃねえか。くそが。お前、名前は花垣竹道。そっか。竹道。お前、本当に中学生。have you ever thought of traveling back in time to save someone you lost or just to fix things? Well, Tokyo Revengers is exactly what you're looking for. The series is quite the big talk this season as it's a time travel series of a young boy who goes back in time to his past life to save his girlfriend from death. Of course, whatever he changed in the past becomes real in the present, which is a very interesting concept. First thing that came to my mind when I watched this was the vibes from an anime called A Race, which was very similar. You might ask yourself, is Tokyo Revengers popular? To answer your question, yes. It's one of the most watched series this year. That is all we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. For this year has so far been a huge success prior to the last year, with the amount of great anime coming out and more to arrive very soon, which I'll keep you all posted about. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, then please smash that like button to show your support. And as always, I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Bye!